Alright, so we just put the final touches on the 4230. We uh, put the batteries installed. Where my brother was, and uh, he broke a cable. So we're getting the cable done on it. So we got all the stickers on. And the batteries on. We got the seat on, brand new seat. We didn't put the sides on it because you really can't fit it. I mean, it's really tight for some of us. So, but as long as the back's on, then that's all we care about. So, but we got all that done. We had some extra stickers for, and uh, so I put them on the back here. I know they don't go there, but I figured they look halfway decent. So see them. I thought that'd be pretty neat. To have them on there and then we're getting a new triangle for my brother's over there john deere getting a nail so i don't think that that doesn't make it look too bad does it the stickers on there you know i've never seen them on there but on the back anyways i figured where we had extra and then they reflect at nighttime too so that'd be all right i thought it was pretty cool to to try something like that anyway or just that you know we had them why not go ahead and just put them on so Anyway, that's what the deal is. We're working on that. Um, probably another hour or two, we'll have her hooked up to the loader and all done and moved out. Next, on to the next project. So, there's a Peterbilt daycare my brother wants to go look at up in Vienna. It's a 96 daycare. We got four hoppers and three peeps. We used to have a truck company and we sold all the trucks. And we kept three of them for the hoppers, and then we ended up being about buying a fourth hopper. Um, they're all 42 footers, but we got one 43 that the Peterbilt that with the stand up sleepers were way too long for. So we're trying to find a day cab. I don't care what kind of day cab it is, it could be a $5,000 piece of shit as far as I'm concerned, just go to Tyson in town or Purdue. It doesn't have to be nothing, but it has to be short for that hopper. But they found he wants a Peterbilt because that's all we got. And you know, they are nicer trucks, so I don't blame them. But so they found a Peterbilt they want to go look at. So they're going to go look at that sometime and uh, we'll see what she is. She ain't bad looking. He showed me a picture of her. She's got a new motor and everything in her. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But we definitely need a fourth truck. So especially when the lines get long. So anyway. All right, well, that's progress. I'm going to take a video when we get her completely done and pull her out. And uh, out in the sunlight, I think it'll really, really make her look really good. So, anyway, thank you. And I kind of just made myself happy. I got some cheap stickers from eBay, little cool John Deere stickers. I thought it would look neat. On her, just put one here and there. I thought that was pretty, pretty neat to have it on there. Just a little, something a little stupid. I put one on the front. We put them on the side of the loader. And then I put one on the front here. Little, not very big, but just something to kind of break up this whole area. I thought it'd be a little neat. So, ain't too shabby. Gives her a little look when you're coming down the car. Mm -hmm. I put the other one on the loader over here. She had the big black John Deere sticker on her and I didn't like them so I got the ones the yellow stands out better on the paint I didn't want the big black thing that was here it was black and silver which was nothing black and silver on the whole tractor to begin with so I just got one put on each side just kind of give it break it up a little bit they were real cheap like a dollar for four like dollar ninety eight for four of them so I thought it'd be it was something cool to do um, just to give it a little appeal. I actually thought they were bigger than that when I bought them, but they're still big enough that it just gives it just a little something, a little something John Deere on her. So, but I'm tickled. I mean, I hate driving this tractor, I really do, but it does look good. I will give it that. It does look really, really, really good for what, you know, it only has 4,000 hours on it, and that ain't. That's nothing considering it's 2000, it's a 1970, 
Dude, I don't even know what year this is. It's got to be in the 70s, I would think. It's got to date you somewhere. Maybe a 75, 77, I'm thinking somewhere around there. So, what's that? 80, 20, 40, 40, some years old. Over 40 years old and 4,000 hours. And it still looks like, you know, still looks good. Even, I mean, it's, I know it's a new paint job, but she's still, everything's held up on her well. And I mean, she still runs good. It's just that, you know, with the modern tractors we got, we never really use it. But my dad likes driving it. He likes it with the loader and going around the woods and, you know, raising people up because it goes up higher than the 544 does, or that's what he says anyway. Cutting limbs down and um, we, we put the ditcher on it. When we get done planting corn and beans, we run her with the ditcher because she's got that real low gear in her where she'll just creep right along. Uh, we hooked the blade up to her and leveled the driveways out, the, the pan thing that we got. So she does good with that. But I mean, she's used for little things around here, here and there. So it ain't bad. And plus it gives us a second loader. Well, really a third loader. We got the big loader and then the Bobcat. And then this is more like a, you know, it's a little bit bigger than the Bobcat. It does go higher. So it gives us really an extra loader. We never use it, but we got it. So I don't know. But anyway, let's get back to it. Good morning, everybody. I don't know if you can hear me because of the heater, but it's 19 degrees this morning, so the heater's got to be on. So what I'm doing today is these hoses on this loader right here. When you hook the loader up, we've always had them. She don't have any fittings up here so what we do is we run the hoses and it runs over these fenders and then it comes back here and just hooks into the outlet right here but what we're going to do is or what I'm going to do is why you know we got the new paint on here you know the hoses always just laid up on there and if they move they would scratch the fender real bad we put a strap right here you know to kind of hold them in so what I'm going to do is and it was actually my dad's idea. I give him credit for it. Took a PVC pipe. What I'm gonna do is I cut the top out. I'm gonna clean it up. I don't know if you see it or not. I'm gonna make like a cradle. It might kind of look like shit, but I'm gonna paint it John Deere green to match the tractor. I'm gonna clean it up, it's dirty. This the old piece we had laying around. I'm gonna clean it up, paint it green. And then the goal is, with it green like that, you might not notice it's bad. Lay it up here up against the thing, like this. And with it painted green, it might look like it's part of the tractor, it might not, but it's gonna be better. And I'm gonna take some self-tapping screws and just put about four of them in there and screw it to the fender. That way them hoses, or lay into it kind of like a cradle and i think with a painted green you're not going to notice it you're not going to notice it nowhere near as much but it's going to save for them hoses always constantly rubbing them fenders and tearing the paint up and, and oil you know everywhere so i think it's going to be once i get the painted i think it's going to look halfway decent i might trim it down a little bit to so not quite the ground um, but I think with a painted green, it'll look halfway decent. Part of the trap where you'll never notice it once you get used to it again. Have the hoses sitting in there as a cradle. So, just an idea. Instead of just throwing them over the fender all the time, especially with the new paint on there. So, I don't know if we're going to hook the loader up right away or what we're going to do. I guess it's good. So, that's, that's the main goal for today. Everything's pretty much done on it. Everything's done on the whole tractor except for that. So once I get that done, I might pull it outside, 
take a video. I think it's gonna look awesome out in the sunlight. As you say, we're in this dark shop, even though know, there's lights in here, it's just don't do her justice to what she actually looks like. So I'll do another walk around before I put the, everything on it. So give me an idea. kind of like this. This is just extra stickers that we had. And on these old tractors, you never see them, but it kind of just gave her a little bit, you know, instead of it being all green, kind of broke it up a little bit on the back. I thought that was pretty neat. So, got the new seat in it. My brother, we got some, uh, the, the Linex stuff that you do. So we were thinking about rubbing it on the floor and making the floor the Linex. You know, the black line X, I think that would look pretty good. So, keep you posted as a progress on it. All right, so I went ahead and took a nap because I was bored today. And then I got my John Deere sticker in the mail. So I just put it on the loader and got the tractor done. She's completely done now. So I haven't put the thing on, the little bracket for the hoses because I'm still painting and letting it dry but pretty much the tractor's done, so we'll do a tour now. You're probably gonna get tired of seeing this tractor, but man, we got her looking sharp, I think. So, yeah, here she goes. I put, just put these stickers on the loader. Let's see. Put my John Deere stickers on there. Pretty happy with that. This morning, I put the reflector on the back. I got a new one, because the old, here, I'll show you what the old one looked like. The dude's like, why'd you waste $10 on this? But. Got a new paint job, you gotta get it right. So, here, see the difference? It's a big difference, ain't it? So, put a new one on. Got her all stripped up, and the tractor is done. I was gonna do, I'll probably add to the video, put it when we take it outside, but we're not gonna move it probably till Monday. So we'll just, I'll do an outside video Monday with the sun on it, but she's all done. I'm not gonna hook the loader up right away. So, but didn't wanna, I'm not gonna just start it up for nothing, pull it out. I was gonna just, I was actually gonna do that and just get pictures, but I decided not to. So anyway, one more walk around thing. And then I'll do outside things, and that'll be it for before 2.30, because I'm sure you're tired of seeing it. But, he's very spippy looking for an old tractor. I'll give you that. So. I really like how we made the yellow. They gave us the extra tape and made the yellow go around back. I thought that was kind of cool. And the loader was cool. I'm happy with it. Once I screw the other thing on, it should be, be done. That would be something extra on the floor there. So, mm -hmm. get her out of here and then we gotta get one of the other tractors. The other little tractor and hook the spinner up so we can start putting something on some potash on some corn ground and stuff on the wheat. We gotta get the sprayer out, get it ready. We gotta get the disc hooked up. See the big tractor. Seems like but we got a lot done this winter, I'll admit we got a lot done. Equipment service, grease, uh, washed, waxed, every single piece got done. So now it's just getting everything right back out again. So, that chicken manure to start spreading March 1st. Around here, they won't let you do that until March 1st. So, 
I'd be posting videos about that.